A big reason why some of these books are making thousands every month is because they have incredible keywords. And it's no surprise to anybody in the community just how important good keyword research is when it comes to Amazon KDP. Now, of course, paid pieces of software like Helium 10 and Publisher Rocket are absolute must-haves in my opinion, but I'm also aware that not everybody has access to reinvest and pay for pieces of software like this. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what I consider to be the best free piece of keyword research software for Amazon KDP. So the software that I'm talking about is a website called Sellersprite, sellersprite.com, and you have to go in and just create an account. It is a completely free account. You can upgrade to their paid version, but in my opinion, if you're just looking for a free piece of software, I would use this. And if you are looking to invest or pay for keyword software, I would definitely recommend Helium 10 and then maybe Publisher Rocket if you want something a little bit lower budget. But we're focusing here on Seller Sprite itself. And what you wanna do is go into this tools at the top and then go down to Keyword Sprite. And then we're gonna start with this keyword mining section. Now there are two ways you can use your keyword mining. You can do keyword magnet or you can do bulk mining. And essentially the difference between the two is they're both gonna be looking at a main keyword that you put in here. So for example, flashlight that they've got here. If you just type in that one specific word, what it's gonna do is find loads of related keywords that are around that main keyword you typed in. Or if you wanna do bulk mining, you can do this for basically multiple different keywords at the same time. Before our example, we're gonna go for a unicorn coloring book. So let's go for unicorn coloring, see what comes up, unicorn coloring book. And then we go ahead and just press search. And you can also choose the day or the time period that you want. Again, because this is a free piece of software, you don't have access to a huge amount of data in terms of the time period, but that's just the price you pay for not having to actually invest in software. This is entirely free. So we're just gonna go for the last 30 days. And if you scroll down the bottom of the page, you can see all of these related keywords that are linked to our main keyword that we put in. So we put in unicorn coloring book, Unicorn coloring books for girls four to eight, unicorn coloring books for kids, unicorn coloring books for girls three to five, loads of different suggestions and importantly, some really cool metrics to go alongside. So the first one, which is relatively self-explanatory is this monthly searches. You can see here, this specific keyword, unicorn coloring book gets 17,527 searches, which is 584 searches a day. And it's exactly the same for all of these different keywords. Unicorn coloring book for girls three to five, get 704 searches and 23 daily. I quite like the idea of having a daily number two because it just gives you a bit more information, a bit of a better idea of what that looks like day to day. And of course, when it comes to finding a good keyword, there are two main things you want. You wanna have high demand and you wanna have low competition. And high demand is signaled by the number of times that people on Amazon are searching for that keyword. So ideally, the higher the number here, the better the demand. So now you've managed to work out that there's good demand for a certain keyword, you now wanna move on to see how much competition there is. And there are loads of different metrics within this software that will allow you to do that. And the first one here is this SPR here. And what's really good about this software too is the definitions on their site are really, really good. So I actually recommend off the back of this video, going on Seller Sprite, creating an account, and just having a play around and looking at all of these metrics in depth yourself. But the SPR score, which stands for Seller Sprite Product Rank, is the eight day estimated order volume that you need to have to keep a keyword ranking on the first page. So for example, this one here, unicorn coloring books for girls four to eight, you would need to sell 25 units every eight days to continue ranking on that first page. So of course, ranking on the first page is quite a broad term. It could be ranking first or it could be ranking last on the first page. It just gives you a general idea of how many units you have to sell to ideally be on that first page. So. When you're looking at this from a numbers perspective, of course, the lower number you have, the better it's gonna be for you because you need to make less sales to be ranking on that first page. Again, I'm not sure how accurate a lot of this data is because some of it seems to be a little bit inconsistent, but again, it's a price you pay for a free piece of software as opposed to a paid piece. And another thing I would just bear in mind when it comes to this metric here is ranking on the first page, of course, it's a good thing, but it really depends where on that first page you're ranking. If, if you're ranking number one, two, or three, it's very, very different to if you're ranking right at the bottom of the first page. So I would take this metric with a little bit of a pinch of salt, but it's still good to just understand it's there to give a bit more information about competition. But with that in mind, they also have another metric, which is click concentration. And that goes back to that point of understanding where on this first page these books are ranking. So now we know it takes 25 units over eight days to rank on the first page for this keyword. 
You also have this click concentration number, and that is the total proportion of clicks on the top three ASINs for a particular keyword. So this is 47.9%. And what this basically means is when someone types in this keyword here, 47.9% of the time, one of the top three books are going to be clicked. So if you're ranking on the first page here, but you're actually ranking right at the bottom, you're going to get very few clicks, which is why I don't think this metric is actually that useful. This one, on the other hand, is really useful. So of course, again, when it comes to understanding the numbers, the higher the percentage here, the more clicks are going to that top three. So if you're ranking maybe fifth, sixth or seventh on the first page, you ideally want this number to be as low as possible. So here, the phrase unicorn book, because it's actually a really broad term, it could be a unicorn coloring book, it could be a unicorn fiction book, unicorn activity book. There are so many different things. So I'm not surprised to see the amount of clicks in the top three ones that are returned is a little bit lower for this. So generally speaking, I would imagine the more specific a keyword is, the higher this percentage is here. So unicorn coloring book for kids, ages four to eight here, very specific book, and it's also targeting a specific age range. And therefore it's no surprise that the click concentration is much higher because those top three are gonna be really relevant to that keyword. That's also a really cool metric to have too. So now we've figured out demand from the monthly searches and also the competition from those previous metrics. There is also a final metric in here that is really useful for basically combining both of those. And that is this DSR products metric. And that stands for demand to supply ratio. So essentially it just divides the search volume by the number of items. So you can see here, the search volume for this is 704. And there are 927 products that are ranking for this keyword, which gives us a DSR score of 0.8. Now, it's also worth mentioning here, do not confuse the term DSR with BSR, two very different metrics. BSR standing for best sellers rank as an Amazon metric. This DSR is a seller sprite specific metric. So don't get confused between the two. But essentially here, what you're looking for is the higher the DSR number is, the better the opportunity is for that keyword. So you can see here the keyword kawaii, I probably absolutely butchered that unicorn coloring book, has a 1.5 DSR score, which is higher than a lot of these. And what this basically means is there's a greater proportion of searches compared to competing products for that keyword. So higher number here is a really good sign that there is low competition, but high demand for this keyword. And you can also see here for this keyword, 94.5% who search this into Amazon, click on one of the top three spots. So if you can go in here, you can see there's not a huge amount of competition compared to the supply here. I would actually massively recommend making a Kawaii unicorn coloring book because if you can get in that top three, you're gonna be stealing up to 95% of all those people who are searching that every single month. So this is definitely a keyword that I would put in and use for my listing if of course it is relevant to the book. And another really cool feature within the software is if you click into any of the monthly searches, you can see month on month how the search demand is changing. So for the phrase unicorn books, there actually is a downwards trend. So it's becoming a much less popular keyword that people are putting in. So maybe if you're doing some niche research too, this could also be useful because if you're publishing in a niche that is generally demand is going down, but the competition is going up, you might want to avoid something like this. But it's also important to remember that this is a free piece of keyword research software so you are limited to the number of times you can look at this kind of data so if i click into another keyword here it now just says for paid users and you need to upgrade your account for that i think i've clicked it three maybe five times so you don't have a huge amount to play with so just be very selective when you're doing that or of course if you want to invest you can upgrade but i generally would recommend if you are paying for keyword software use helium 10. but because it's free you're not going to have access to all of the tools so before I move on to the second way that you can use this piece of software, you can also see word frequency count. So when it comes to your KDP kind of keyword strategy, for me, I like to fill in my three backend keyword boxes with as many individual relevant keywords as possible. And this is a great way of doing it. So if I wanted to have a unicorn coloring book, you can see all of the most commonly occurring individual words for that exact keyword. So books, coloring, book, kids, ages, girls, unicorn, all coming up really frequently, as you can imagine. So that's a really cool piece of information too. And everything that we've just covered in terms of all of the keywords, all of the metrics, you can filter absolutely everything down. So you can filter by minimum monthly searches of let's just say 200, search that, and you can get all of the different keywords that have at least 200 monthly searches. 
So there are so many things you can do with this. I would massively recommend going in, having a play around and just getting familiar with a lot of the data. Because as I've mentioned previously, the definitions they have in here are really, really good too. So another really valuable way you can use this piece of software to find keywords for your KDP books is to look at your competitors' books and see what keywords they're using. So you want to go over to the reverse ASIN section here, or if you go into tools, you can see reverse ASIN here. I then find a competitor book. So I'm going to use this unicorn coloring book here. I think actually you need to make sure they're KDP books to get the most information out of this. But you can see if a book is KDP because it will say independently published here. Go ahead and then just take the ASIN, copy that, and then just drop the ASIN into here. And then just press search. And what that's going to do is going to look at this individual book and show me all of the keywords that this book is ranking for. Now, again, something I think is worth mentioning here is I don't think it includes all of the data here. Because as you can see, it says there's organically 31 keywords that it's coming out with. This book here, which has a BSR of 6,000 in the UK store, I would be pretty certain is ranking for more than 31 individual keywords. But again, it's just the price you pay for free software. It's not quite as good as the paid pieces, but it still gives you a really good bit of information. And you can also see here the number of organic searches and also the number of paid keywords. So this book currently isn't actually running ads, but if it was running ads, it would tell you here how many sponsored keywords that this book is actually showing up for. You could click into this and it would show you all of the keywords that this book is actually using ads on too, which is also really, really cool. But for this example, it only is showing for organic keywords. And again, you can go through and filter down kind of exactly how you want to. Loads of different filter options here. And very similar way we've just seen in the previous section of data, you have exactly the same metrics here but just related keywords that this specific book is ranking for. So I'm not gonna go over all of these again because I have covered them myself in the previous section and also you can see for yourself when you go ahead and use this software. So if you had any keywords that you wanted to use, you can click all of these individual ones here and then just go to add to all to my list, press that and you can create lists for each of your individual books. If you're doing keyword research for a unicorn coloring book and then one for an animal, you can have individual lists that when you go to upload it to KDP, all of your keywords and information are there. So that's a really cool thing too. So you can reverse engineer your competitors' books and see all their keywords with exactly the same metrics here. But another cool thing you can do here is actually go for this ASIN lookup button. And what this basically does is show you a bit more information about the book. Of course, some of these things are only available for the paid plan. So that's a bit annoying if you're just using this for free. You can see how the pricing changes of this book. So some better competitor analysis here. You would be able to see the monthly sales and revenue if you had the premium version, but we're not too worried about that. But what's a really cool thing you can see within here, if you just switch over to this important keyword search trends tab, it basically shows you the top keywords that are driving most of the traffic to this book. Unsurprisingly, Unicorn Coloring Book is the one that drives most of the traffic. It's the highest line here. Monthly searches at one point got to 33,000 every single month. But you can also see the other keywords that are driving this book forward. So one thing that's really interesting here is this My Little Pony coloring book is one of the top performing keywords, but it actually isn't a keyword that I would personally have thought of if I'm making this book. It's a unicorn coloring book. It's not a My Little Pony book, but actually it's worth remembering that the kind of audience that likes unicorns and this kind of age range and this kind of, I'm assuming vast majority are gonna be girls are also going to be interested in My Little Pony. So that's a potentially a good keyword that you can use. Definitely wouldn't include it in any title and subtitle because I would imagine My Little Pony is quite heavily trademarked and copyrighted. But it's really interesting to see that that's a keyword that is driving a lot of the sales. So that's how you can use this important keyword search trends too. And another thing worth mentioning here, the Unicorn Coloring Books for Girls 4 to 8 is also a really popular keyword and driving a lot of traffic to this book. If I was to be making a unicorn coloring book here, based on this information, I would make sure I'm not just making it for kids. I would make it specifically for girls. I would also make it for girls ages four to eight. I'm not interested in making this book for girls aged eight to 12 or 12 plus. We just want to be specifically focused on creating this unicorn coloring book for girls four to eight, because that's where the vast majority of this traffic is coming from. And a really good way of seeing that is in this important keyword search trends. So with this software, there are so many different things that you can do. I actually recommend, as I've said, going in here and having a play around because there's loads of things that you can do. Another one is this ads insights. If you just press into this, 
for this exact product, it will show you how many times they ran ads and how many search terms they were ranking for using paid ads. As I've just shown you in the previous example, this is currently at the time of recording, not running any ads. But at one point it was competing for 22 search terms that it was paying to rank for you. So you can see how your competitors' books are aggressively spending on ads. Are they putting back their ad spend, i.e. having less words that they're ranking for? Or are they aggressively increasing their ad spend, as you can see here, 22 search terms that they're competing for? So loads of really interesting data that you can get and use for your keyword research strategies. And this is all, as I say, entirely free. So a really good piece of keyword research software. So there you go. That is what is, in my opinion, the best piece of free keyword research software for Amazon KDP in 2024. If you do want a full tutorial of how to use every single tool within this, it's going to be a pretty long video. But if you do want that, then please do let me know down below in the comments and I will happily make that for you. If you have any questions about anything that I've covered in this video, then please do let me know in the comments section down below and subscribe for more KDP content and I'll see you in the next one.